Hi again, everybody. It's your old pal, the history nerd. I am back in the man cave. And in this video, we are going to unbox and review a pair of Tecovis Cartwright cowboy boots that the good people at Federal Express brought to my home just a day and a half after I ordered them. But first, because I am a duly licensed history nerd, both state and federal law requires me to begin this video by giving you the history of the Tecovis Boot Company. But if you're just interested in the unboxing, I am adding timestamps to this video so you can jump ahead. So without further ado, let's get started. So in 1988, a fellow named Paul Hedrick was born in Houston, Texas. He grew up in Dallas, ended up going to college at Harvard University, and upon graduation, he went to work for a venture capital firm in Connecticut. Now, Hedrick was working in the high finance, richy rich world of venture capital, but he still had some good old boy in him so he was the only guy who showed up for work every day wearing a pair of cowboy boots. In fact, he was wearing his favorite pair of ostrich full quill cowboy boots. So I'm sure the other venture capitalists looked at him a little bit like he was a space alien. Well, one day, uh, uh, Hedrick was buying boots from one of those big box Western wear retailers and he found it a frustrating experience. He said, look, there were hundreds of boots on these racks, various colors, various styles, pointed toes, square toes, round toes, roper heels, western heels, 11 inch shafts, third, just, just, it was just way too complicated. So Hedrick said, there has to be an easier way to buy boots. And there wasn't, so he decided to invent one. Uh, in 2014, Hedrick said, I am going to set up an online retailer that sells a, a, a limited number of high quality, handmade, classic cowboy boots at affordable prices. And it was going to be a direct to consumer model. Uh, he wasn't going to sell them uh, through the big Western wear, big boxers, or through brick and mortar stores that other people owned. Instead, people could go on his website, order the boots, and have them shipped directly to their home with free shipping and an easy return policy. He cut out the middleman. Uh, if you've ever watched Pawn Stars or American Pickers, you know when they're buying an item, they always tell the person, well, you need to sell it to me at less than retail because I need to make a profit and I'm going to have to mark it up to retail price. So you're going to end up with less money uh, and I'm going to make money and the consumer is going to pay full price. Well, Hedrick just cut out the middleman and said, uh, I'm just going to sell the boots directly to the consumers for that middle price rather than the upper price retail. Uh, he had noted that in the big box retailer uh, that the boots range from $50 a pair to $5,000 a pair and they were of varying quality and he wanted to have one portal that people knew would be affordable, good quality boots. So he invested $100,000 of his personal funds and credit card advances uh, and found a factory in Leon, Mexico, a region in Mexico that's known for making good quality boots. He found a factory there that would make uh, his boots by hand, and he began Tecovis Boots. Now, Tecovis is named after a trading post in Texas that both the Comancheros and their Indian customers used uh, in, the 19, in, the, in the 19th century. 
So uh, 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 Hedrick spread the word about Tecovis by investing heavily in both digital advertising and social media. And the popularity of the company grew and grew, but where it really exploded was when he decided to begin advertising on this little known TV show. You've probably never heard of it. Uh, it's called Yellowstone. Uh, he began advertising to Covis Boots on Yellowstone. And today, the actors who play the roles of Jimmy, Teeter, Walker, and Abby all wear Tecovis boots on the show. So uh, a couple of years ago, uh, Hedrick went to venture capital firms and raised uh, about $56 million to begin opening a limited number of high-end Tecovis brick and mortar retail stores in various cities throughout the country. Uh, by, by that time, he'd raised a total of $112 million from venture capitalists uh, because Tecovis had grown so much uh, and he needed that extra venture capital. So he raised the $56 million and began opening brick and mortar Tecovis retail stores. I have visited two of those stores. Uh, one was in Nashville, just off Broadway, directly across from the Ryman Auditorium where the Grand Ole Opry was born. And the other is in Birmingham, Alabama, in a high-end shopping center called The Summit. Uh, they are both very nice retail stores. They not only sell Tecovis boots, they also sell Tecovis jeans, Tecovis shirts. They have Tecovis cowboy hats that are 329 bucks. They, it's, it's a wide range of Tecovis items, not just boots at this point. Uh, but I noticed something uh, during my last visit to the store in Birmingham. Uh, while I was there, and, 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 and by the way, the customer service there is great. While I was looking around for boots, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the employees uh, who was assisting folks asked me if I wanted a complimentary beer or soft drink to, to, to enjoy while I was shopping. Uh, so that's the kind of direct customer service experience you get. Uh, but I declined both of those. But, but while I was there, I said, hey, you know, I, 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 it would be neat to own a Tecovis boot jack with the Tecovis uh, name brand on it. I've got an area boot jack I paid 20 bucks for. I, you know, I've got a couple of boot jacks. It'd be cool to have a Tecovis boot jack. Well, I went and looked, folks. A Tecovis boot jack cost $95 at the Tecovis retail store. Y'all, you use this thing for maybe 10 seconds every day to pry your boot off your foot. It ain't like it's the centerpiece for your dining room table on Thanksgiving, folks. It's a thing you use to take off your shoes, and they charged $95 for it. Um, they have a leather conditioning kit for sale in their retail store uh, that they charge $75 for. It's a little thing about this big, $75 for a leather conditioning kit for your boots. Y'all, let me give you a hint. For about 10 bucks, uh, Amazon will deliver a full bottle of Big Four boot leather conditioner to your home. It will last you forever, and all you need is this bottle and an old t-shirt to rub it on with, and that's all the boot conditioning you need. So uh, pay 10 bucks for a bottle of Big Four, not $75 for a Tecovis leather conditioning kit. Um, so as I tell you the rest of my story, I'm going to go ahead and begin opening this box because it may take a minute. Um, uh, so while I was in the store, I looked around at all of the boots, decided which ones I wanted, but I did not buy them at the retail store. 
I waited and came home and bought them off the website with free shipping and free return. Now, you may ask, why didn't I go ahead and buy them? By coming home, uh, I don't live in Birmingham, so by coming home and buying the shoes online rather than in the store, I saved about $16 in city and county sales tax. I still had to pay state sales tax because Tecovis has a, an outlet in my state, uh, but I didn't have to pay city and county sales tax and save 16 bucks. Now you may be sitting there thinking, dude, it's just 16 bucks. Y'all, it is $16 that I may now spend on any other cotton picking thing that I wish to buy. So I am not only a history nerd, I am also a frugal nerd. So the rest of you who are frugal as I am may want to use that tip and use the Tacova store basically as a showroom to see your boots in person and then go buy them online and save the sales tax. So here's our Tacovis box. I will open it up. We have a Tecovis koozie. They are famous for including koozies in their uh, boxes when you have them shipped. Uh, here's my return thing if I need to return them. And here are my Tecovis Cartwright boots. Now these boots come in a variety of leathers and colors. Uh, you can get them in black and various shades of brown. You can also get them in calfskin, cowhide, or the leather that I chose, which is goat leather. Here is my goat leather Cartwright cowboy boot. Now you may ask, why did I choose goat leather? Uh, goat leather is a unique leather. Uh, it's very supple. It's oily. Uh, uh, um, as a matter of fact, Tecovis says on its website that goat leather boots, you don't have to go too crazy conditioning them with the Big Four because they have natural oils. So you condition these boots with your Big Four or your $75 conditioning kit, if you so desire, from Tecovis. Uh, you don't condition them as much because the boots all have natural oils and don't need it. But the reason I bought a goat skin is because um, uh, goat skin uh, ages quickly. They say if you wear these boots for two weeks, they will break in and look like you have, worn, you have had them for two years. Uh, the leather looks distressed quickly, and quite frankly, I like that distressed look. Um, I've got a pair of dressed Lucchese's that I can wear when I'm wearing a coat and tie. I've got a nice pair of Justin boots that I can wear to the office. I need a pair of boots that I can kick around in, that I can wear to social occasions, that have that lived-in look uh, that's not pristine, and uh, I think these are the ones for me, so I bought them. Uh, I grew up in the 80s, and my father, who was born in the 1920s, uh, did not understand why I wanted the faded Levi jeans instead of the dark blue Levi jeans. And he would say, why in the blue hell are you paying full retail price for something that looks like somebody's already worn the hell out of it? Uh, Dad never understood, and I didn't expect him to. So uh, let's take a look at the uh, Tecovis Cartwright. Um, it's, a, it's a round toe boot. Uh, it's not a square toe, round toe boot. Uh, it's got a one and a half inch stacked leather heel, which is what you're looking for uh, in, a, in, a, in a good quality boot. You want a stacked leather heel. Uh, it's got a 12 inch shaft. Um, I always like saying in these videos that I've got a 12 inch shaft, folks. Here it is. Here's proof. Here's my 12 inch shaft. Um, and you will note all, all of the piping that is on 
the shaft. Uh, I, uh, 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 I said in another video that beginning in the 18th century, uh, in, in the 19th century, back in the 1800s, uh, bootmakers used elaborate stitching and piping on the shaft of the boots, not because it's, it's decorative, but because it gives structure and firmness to the shaft. Yes, I said it gives firmness to the shaft. Uh, so your uh, so your boots don't sag around your ankles or flop over. And uh, Tecovis, like the rest of the boot, this is a handmade boot. The piping in this shaft is all laid by hand uh, by the folks who make it in Lyon, Mexico. They seal the piping between the lining and the outer leather and then they sew all of the quarter panels and the shaft together. Um, uh, so it is, uh, it is a good looking handmade uh, boot. Um, I told you about the piping gives it structure. Um, I'll also note lots of people think that the, uh, the sewing down here on the vamp is also decorative. It's not. This too serves a purpose. The vertical lines that go across the top of your boot is called the wrinkle. That's the technical term for it. This is the wrinkle. And if your boots fit well, the, the, the horizontal lines of the wrinkle will be on top of the part of your foot that, that breaks or bends when you walk. And the purpose of these horizontal lines is to make sure, the reason it's called the wrinkle, that your boots wrinkle just here where your foot will bend. And it doesn't, it doesn't allow your, your boots to have wrinkles um, in other parts, just in this one part where the horizontal lines are. And those horizontal lines also help, help camouflage the wrinkle. Uh, the filigree part down here, all the scrolling that's, that's embroidered, this is called the toe bug. This also gives structure to the toe box and makes sure that the top of the boot remains firm and your toe box doesn't wrinkle. This gives structure and firmness to the toe box of your boot. So we have a rounded toe. We have a one and a half inch stacked heel. The one and a half inch heel and the round toe are, are for classic boots because the round toe fits easily in a stirrup. The one and a half inch heel hooks easily on the back of a stirrup when you're riding a horse and keeps your boot in the stirrup. We have the 12 inch um, shaft with the elaborate piping. Uh, we have a leather sole. Um, by the way, we've got a single stitched uh, welt. We have a leather stole, sole that's got a three quarter welt, uh, which is the sign of a good boot. Um, it means that the welt, which, which affixes the outer sole to the midsole and the inner sole, uh, 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 we, we've got it, we got it, we have a leather sole. It is sewn three quarters of the way around. And then, uh, in the midsole, um, on, on Tacovis boots, uh, they use lemon wood pegs to affix the outer sole to the mid and inner sole. Um, some boots will use uh, brass tacks. Uh, I said in another video that back in the 19th century, when the US Cavalry, they would wear the hell out of their boots out, out west, and you knew, you knew a boot was worn out when you could feel the brass tacks poking in the bottom of your foot, and that's where we get the term getting down to brass tacks. Um, uh, the reason high-end boots use lemon wood pegs, Lucchese uses lemon wood pegs, for example, um, is because the lemon wood expands and contracts with the leather. If you use brass tacks, you, you, you run the risk of the leather expanding and the tacks will start coming out of the bottom of the boot. Um, so that's it folks, uh, the inside of the boot, let's take a look. Um, 
we have, uh, I think, cowhide lining inside. I'm not sure. And then the, uh, the sole of the boot, the insert, this is glove leather uh, lining the top of the, of the insole. Um, Y'all, there's nothing like the smell of a new boot. I tell you what, um, that is a good looking uh, insole, and that's a good looking in, inside of a boot. It, it's just a good looking pair of boots, and I am looking forward to wearing these and seeing how they break in. Uh, and saying that, I think that I will now go and put these boots on and let you see how they look and have me tell you a little bit about how they feel. So hang on and I'll be right back. Well, I've got the boots on folks. Uh, I've got the double cam going so you can see how they look. I can tell you that they went on like butter more easily than any boot that I've bought in a while. Uh, I'm happy with them. Uh, Tacova says that their boots run true to size, to order the size that you wear in tennis shoes and dress shoes. I wear a size 13 normally. That's the size Tacovis boot I bought, and it slipped right on. It's not too big, it's not too small. Just like Goldilocks said, it fits just right. Um, so far, I'm pleased with these boots, and for $275 for the quality that I've gotten, I'm very happy with it. Now, I know there's some Tacovis haters out there that are just waiting to type and say they're overrated, they're overpriced, I don't like Tacovis. Y'all, like my dad used to say, if everyone had the same taste, Baskin Robbins wouldn't need 31 flavors. But I can tell you that I'm quite happy with my purchase of the Tacovis Cartwright Cowboy Boot. Uh, I recommend them to you. Go out and try them. If you don't like them, they have a no questions asked free return policy. You can't go wrong. So uh, I will recommend these boots to you all day during the week and twice on Sunday. So that's it, folks. That's the unboxing of my Tecovis Cartwright uh, goat leather boots. Uh, I think I'm going to like them. I'm looking forward to seeing how they look. Once I've worn them for a while and they get that distressed look, like I said, they, they claim that within about two weeks of daily wear, it'll look, it'll look and feel like I've had these things for a couple of years. I don't know that I've mentioned yet that these boots cost $275. And for a boot uh, that's this good looking, that seems to be this well made, uh, 275 bucks is a good price. You can pay that much for a lot lesser boot at those big box retailers that inspired Paul Hedrick to found Tecovis. So uh, that's the video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video and you like the other videos on my channel, I need you to do three things for me. I need you to give me the Fonzie thumbs up, A, hit subscribe, and then ring the bell so the next time I fire up this old YouTube gizmo, you will be the first one to know. I'm going to close this video like I close all of my videos by encouraging each and every one of you to be good, be well, be happy, and I will see each and every one of you very soon. Bye, folks.